So spruce up your wardrobe with handmade bags by Michelle McDonald, the owner and designer of Shelly Mac Bags. And she's with us this morning. Uh, Michelle, morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Thank you for having me. Morning. It is our pleasure. I hope all is well with you. You, hear, you can't hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. All right. Tell me, tell me about Shelly Mac Bags. When did you start this, this, this thing? Uh, sewing has been a big part of my life, basically. And so I started out making my own clothes, etc. Mm -hmm. Bedley names, you name it. Shelly Mac bags actually started out of a need for bags that were durable, stylish. And uh, yes, basically I started making my own bags, came out of a need. And then it propelled me into making bags for my friends. And as I said, the rest is history. So where, where you got the expertise from to, to, to make bags? You taught yourself or where you get that? Yes, I did. Eh? So you just sit down yes. and so it's trial and error. You just sit down, you watch YouTube, what you do? No, I, as I said, I, I grew up with an aunt who designed her own clothes. And she took in work from other persons. So I started pinkering around her machine, mm -hmm. much to her consternation, of course. <laughs> and I learned to construct garments from there. Yeah. I really needed to do something for myself. I wasn't really pleased with what was on the market because most of the bags, they are very beautiful. But when you look at the durability, yeah. the lining goes first. That's the first thing that goes. And you are, you know, basically looking at a shell that is looking good, but not functional. Yeah. And so I wanted to have bags that were functional, beautiful, and lasting. Fantastic. All right. And I, know, I know you started in 2017. Tell me how you were doing before uh, the pandemic in 2020 and how difficult has it been since then? Because I think you had to kind of change lanes a little bit because of the pandemic, don't? Well, as everyone knows, craft crafters showcase we have a network of persons a very lively network in jamaica okay and contrary to what a lot of people might not know we really support our own and there are persons here who gravitate to handmade items items that are well constructed and not the cookie cutter kind of thing so we showcase our craft in many different fora you have the um, artisan street walk that we have every last Sunday of every month. And um, I was actively involved in that kind of arena. And of course, you have night market. There are various areas. TEF has been tremendously helpful for those of us who are registered with them. And so I showcase my items across various platforms. And you did that. Um, you did that even during the pandemic. I mean, you did that even last year. Yes, actually. Okay. okay. Actually, the exposure has been good, and I must use this time to say thank you to all the persons who have been supporting. It's not the same as the walk-ins because of the social distancing and so on. Yeah. But certainly, you still have persons who contact us, even if it's low case, um, low key. Fantastic. But um. I guess you could call it residual sales, etc. Yeah, man. All right, we have a lot of bags here, and I suspect they are for different reasons and different uses and stuff, don't it? Don't it? Certainly. Um, as you can see, there's a plethora of different styles for different functions. But what one the mainstay of the bags, though, is that they can be used in many different ways. Say, for instance, a clutch. Most of my clutch purses are multifunctional. You can take it as a clutch purse, or if you are on the go and you're a tech savvy person, you can slip your MacBook in it. Um, you can put your tablet in it. And of course, the interior is waterproof. So if you're caught in the rain, there's no worries to it. Oh, that's fantastic. We have our waterproof line yeah. for our climate, of course. All I need, so to, all I need, Michelle, all I need to know now is what is a clutch, <laughs> and I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was teasing. That was teasing. Go, go, go ahead. They are, they are beautiful. They are beautifully done. I, you know, they they look as you said durable. 
um, different colors and all kinds of stuff. Give me a price range. Like, give me a, a range of the, the lowest to the highest. And I know you're also making masks, right? Yes, I do make masks. Yeah, so give me a price range for your, your purses. All right, masks, 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 mask, mask, the start of the mask, the mask starts at $500. And of course, because there are some masks that are customized, so those are like for $1,000. Okay. But the basic price for a mask is $500. And they are triple lined, of course. Okay. And very durable, yeah. I should say so. Then yeah. you have, we have wristlets, small wristlets that starts at $2,500. So we have a low of two five up to ten thousand dollars for a bag. Yeah, man, they're, they're depending on what is being asked for. I do backpacks as well, although I did not showcase a backpack today. Yeah. But um, that's one of my favorite bags to me. Okay, where are you but found? But the bags are yes. Where are um, you found? Where backpack. are you found? Yes, I do backpacks as well. Tell me where you're found, so if anyone wants to. To buy a couple okay, of Okay, I'm based in Kingston. I'm based online for now. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Shelly McBath. And that's Shelly with a C, part of my name. Yeah, man. And um, I can be found on WhatsApp as well. The WhatsApp link is in my bio. I'm also on Facebook as Shelly Mac. Okay. And I am online. I have an online store as well. Those links are in my bio, so I am very much available. Yeah, man. All right. And I do deliver in the wide as well. Okay, fantastic. It's it's I like it. I'm impressed with it. Congratulations. Good luck as you Thank move you. on. Um, you're gonna take the vaccine? Um, I'm thinking about it. All right. It has its merits. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, man. Just stay safe. Look after yourself and God bless you. You too. Yeah, man. Thank you very you much. You too. Thank you very much. Owner and know. designer of Shelly Mac bags, Michelle McDonald. All right. For some strange reason, I don't think the producer are done with you yet. I think we have another fun stop. Um, if I don't get this one right, <laughs> here are, you hear her? She don't have any studio etiquette. Oh, no more fun stops. I win. <laughs> I win easy. We so comes. Stay with us. We still have rollout though. My um, lady is going to perform together. So. Come.